Hello, my name is Michael Avery from Cadence Design System. This video is talking about the throughout construct inside of System Verilog Assertions. So throughout's a sequence construct, and we can see an example here of how it's described. It's as easy to understand as it looks, thankfully. So uh, what this is saying is this expression shown here containing throughout and operands each side is deemed to have succeeded if some expression 1 is true throughout the completion of the sequence called seek A. So expression 1 is a boolean. So basically we're saying it is a boolean true throughout the completion of a sequence. So here's a property using this. So we've got J implies next cycle K is true throughout this sequence here. So SAB is a sequence defined as A followed by B. The star 2 means two consecutive repetitions of that. So that means A, B, A, B. We require K to be true throughout completion of that sequence, the cycle after J occurs. So here we've got J occurring. So from the next cycle, we require that the sequence A, B, a, B is observed, and K has to be true throughout that. So let's see some examples in a waveform showing some past scenarios and fail scenarios. This waveform shows the same waveforms as we saw in the slide there. So we're sampling on the rising edge, so we're sampling J high true on that edge, which means we must observe the sequence SAB repeated twice. So if that doesn't occur, then it's a fail. So here we've got A, B, A, B. And K has to be true throughout it because of the throughout operator. So that's an example of an assertion which gets enabled there and passes sampling K being true throughout the sequence SAB repeated twice. Example failures would be any time we have J and we don't have ABAB. A, B. So in this case, B is missing from there, that rising edge. So although K is true, that's a failure of this whole expression K throughout SAB repeated twice consecutively. Here we've got J occurring and we have the sequence A, B, A, B occurring twice, but K has dropped for one of these cycles here. So we're sampling K low on this rising edge, which is the reason for that fail. So we know as soon as we sample K low, we know that the right hand side of this property cannot complete. Therefore, we know we've failed already. What I'd recommend you would do before using any of these operators from the language reference manual, which have a word instead of a sequence whose uh, behavior is known, is to go and look in the language reference manual to see its definition, because that often teaches you all you need to know about it. So here we're looking at the IEEE standard for system Verilog, IEEE 1800. We go to the assertions section, that's chapter 16. This is the 2017 version, the latest at the time making this video. And we go and look at sequence operations, because that's what we're talking about here, the sequence throughout operator. And conditions over sequences and here's its definition so the first thing to notice here is that it's doing nothing that you couldn't do before the sequences uh, but it does it in a slightly more convenient way as long as you can remember what throughout does so this is the um, actual definition of it as per the language reference manual so some expression which is a boolean is repeated zero to an infinite number of times intersecting with so intersect is a length matching of two sequences so however long seek is then we have to have expression true for consecutive cycles, regardless of how long that sequence is. So that concludes this video. Uh, thank you for listening and goodbye.